Let's see what the worms are up to. <clears throat> so, it's been a couple of days since their last feeding. Mostly castings on top. Oh, interesting. I'm going to layer of food scraps. What is that? See this? A sandwich bag. Oh, I bet that's coffee grounds. We'll have to open that up. But you can see, they've done a really good job breaking everything on the surface down. Oh, it looks like we've got some pill bugs helping us break stuff down over there. There we go. Definitely not bad things to have in a worm bin. They help break stuff down. If this was in a house, I'd be freaking out because that's gross. Nobody likes pill bugs. Um, they, they're harmless, but they help break everything down as well as the worms. So this bin is about a foot and a half deep. Um, and it's been going strong for a year. I think, I think this is one of the originals. Um, at least seven or eight months. But because I remember one of these two, the two oldest bins, I put a turkey in from Thanksgiving. And so it is now August. So that would be at least nine months old, and it was well established at that time, so I'm guessing a year. Um, I was hoping to find the turkey at some point when we sifted castings, but I, I haven't come across it, so either they broke it down completely, or it's somewhere stuck in the middle of one of these bins. Um, which is also kind of cool. And you can see, this, this bin overall looks pretty wet. I'm going to need to add some more paper to it to dry it out a little bit because that's that's like a gelatinous goo um, the worms love it you can see they're on it but um it's too wet so we need to dry it out a little bit but yeah they've turned I mean 90% of this is, is casting oh there's more pill bugs wood louse so they're helping to break everything down as they do. Um, so I'm surprised I haven't seen any uh, woodlouse spiders. Those are the ones that are really freaky. They're brown and red, um, look totally gross. But that's essentially their their food. So, you know, look, there's, there's everybody hanging out. All right, come on guys, get to work. Let's go, stop having a party. Um, yeah, they're all hanging out. Come on, guys. Of course, I don't like to fluff the bins like this. I was just hoping to see a, a turkey, see if I could dig and find it, but I think it's going to be a little bit further down um, than I'm willing to dig. So, plus, it might not even be in this bin, it might be in a different bin. Um, it could be in the one behind me. So let's see what that one's up to. So similar. Breaking everything down. A little bit wet. But, I mean, you can see mostly, mostly processed stuff. A little bit of food scraps left. Um, but not a whole lot. They've done a really good job. Let's see if I dig toward the edge, maybe I can. Uh, yeah, so you can see. I don't know if you can see this. Let me get a. Let me grab a flashlight and show you what it looks like further down. All castings, right? Um, you know, more pill bugs. They're having a field day, but you can see. There's really no food scraps left, so 
hundreds of pounds, so probably, let's say 100 pounds, gets added to this every week. Because um, we've got five of them going now, so we split the load pretty equally between them. Um, and there's probably an inch, half inch left. They've pretty much broken down everything. Easy stuff. I mean, you can see a lot of this is eggshell. Um, that's a, I think that's a mango pit. Um, and then you got these, these, um, flower stems that take forever or the flower stems. Um, so everything else that's in here is going to take them a really long time anyway. Um, so they're doing the best they can, but yeah. What's that? Um, that would be some sort of hull or husk or something cobs those take forever um when i can i actually give those to the pigs um if if they're ours obviously i'm not taking them out of the food scrap buckets but if they're the ones that we've eaten they go to the pigs the pigs will eat them in just a couple of bites it's really fascinating they absolutely love corn um if it still had the corn on it i'd give it to the chickens and then take the cobs and give them to the pigs because the pigs like the cobs the chickens love the, the corn itself um so, but in here, when the, with the worms, it takes them a while. Um, not that they don't love it, but it just takes a long time. If you've ever tried to cut through a corn cob, it's gonna take you a while. So, but you can see, like, uh, they've broken all of this down. This is all basically castings. Um, they just need to be dried a little bit. And there's some eggshells in there. Um, and a bone. Bones take a while. Um, but we'll get to it eventually. It's all right. We can't fault them for trying. So you can see like just how much of this is basically what I'm saying is I need to do a sift video and show you guys what this looks like on the other end again. Um, I just haven't had time. We've had a lot of stuff going on on the farm lately. We've had a lot of really bad weather here. Um, a lot of storms, a lot of down trees. Um, and uh, it just hasn't had, I haven't had a chance to film it because it takes a full day to film a sifting video. Um, so if you want to see one, let me know in the comments and I will post one. I'll spend a day um, just showing you sifted castings and what this looks like when it's all done um, let's go check out the other stuff all right same thing a layer of unfinished husks and shells and things like that I mean this is all solid rock solid stuff um, shells a little bit of packaging that's gonna take them a while but you can see they're trying right so but if we dig down just under the surface of this stuff you could see that it's all the good stuff so the top layer looks bad because it's unfinished stuff but then you go down just a little bit this is great this is this is exactly what you're looking for um we just need to let it dry a little bit so i need to add some paper probably to it um before we do the next feeding and then this will be ready to go um ready to sift anyway so it's this is why we do this this is what the cft is all about um, continuous flow through, right? So it is constantly moving down. So you know, we go get under this main layer. Let me just a little trowel here, and you can see. So there's a the plant. That's gonna take them a while, but everything else is ready to go. This is all. Actually finished castings. I mean, look in there. 
right? You don't want to see layers. I should build these things out of glass so that you guys can see how um, quickly they get to the lower levels and just get through everything. It's phenomenal. I love digging in these to show that, you know, once you get off the top layer, oh, there's a little bit of stuff. But that's, honestly, it's like a one little sludge layer. And then, yeah, so we're still within the top inch or two. There they all are, just chilling. Come on, guys, get to work. Um, so, yeah. It's fun to watch. And people ask me how many worms I have. I don't know. Millions, I think. You know? Um, to be able to do this to this much food, so 100 pounds in a week, um, if you figure there's a thousand worms a pound, and they go through a hundred pounds a week, um, and they eat half their weight a day, um, so let's see, so what would that be? If it's a hundred pounds in seven days, so let's say they go through 15 pounds a day and they eat half their weight, so that would be about 30 pounds of worms. So, 30,000? That doesn't sound right. I don't know. I'm not gonna do the math on it, because um, I know it's way more than that. Um, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. But maybe I'll post a a little math problem. I'll post a little math problem and you guys can see what I'm looking at for the worms. How about that? So just wanted to check in, see if I can find that turkey. There's no way I'm gonna find that turkey. It is nowhere to be found. I need to open up this bag of it is coffee grounds. That is definitely coffee grounds. Thanks for putting it in a Ziploc baggie that's non-biodegradable. That's awesome. Um, so I'm going to deal with that. And we will end it here. And I will see you all next week. Have a good one. Here is the math. 100 pounds of food scraps is put into the CFT per week. So that averages out divided by 7 days is roughly 15 pounds per day of consumed food scraps. So a one pound of worms is equal to a thousand worms on average. Um, they eat roughly half their weight per day. In ideal conditions, they can eat their weight. Um, but I'm just assuming that they're not just chowing nonstop because, you know, they can eat a day of rest. Uh, so this means that there's 30 pounds of worms to get to the 15 pounds per day if they're eating half their weight to get through 15 pounds per day. So 30 pounds times a thousand worms per pound is 30,000 30, worms per bin minimum um, just to get through everything. And we've got five CFTs going, so that's 150,000 worms that we have chewing on the food scraps. Cool. <music>got to reward him. There you go. Good job. Good job, ladies. Okay. Ow! You got my finger, dude. Got my fingers. Get the food. Get the food. Ow! Got my finger. Ow! Ow! <laughs> that really hurts. Oh, chickens. Good times.